Um, we're really uh, satisfied with the Moose boat product because it is a catamaran uh, made of aluminum, so it's durable. It should last for quite a long time if we keep up with our maintenance schedules. Um, because it's a catamaran, it's very fast through the water and very stable. It's a very stable working platform uh, for when we need it out there in the, in the bay slop. As you know, the bay, San Francisco Bay can be very wicked at times with winds 30, 40 knots and, uh, and to have to do rescue operations or perform some kind of fire suppression effort, it's really important for us to have uh, the stability on the working platform of the boat. Uh, the monohull just does not afford us that uh, stability like we, we noticed in our, in our previous vessel. Um, so we're really fortunate to have the catamaran. Um, also, because it is a jet boat, we are just able to maneuver in this boat a lot more efficiently and effectively than any monohull out there in the marketplace. Um, also, because it is a catamaran, the displacement of this vessel is approximately 16,000 pounds, and despite that weight, um, it only draws approximately 22 inches. And many of the places throughout uh, our district are, are very shallow. And in fact, with the low tide as we have here today, um, many places we have to get into would be only two to three feet of water. Tactical, fast cats, high speed, high mobility water weapons. The Navy continues to add high tech cats to its arsenal. Call this the Hummer of Catamarans. It's the Moose Boat, a tough, powerful, and very fast twin hold boat that can handle a ride and land just about anywhere. This double hull demon has a style all its own. It can do things that other boats can't, particularly um, get into shallows, go up rivers, do things that, that you couldn't do with a conventional boat. Its power and rugged aluminum construction makes it an ideal patrol boat for the military, law enforcement, and customs. We have built this boat for the U.S. Park Police, and it's uh, right now patrolling the Statue of Liberty. The current boats that we're doing right now are all built for the U.S. Navy. Like the HSV, the Moose Boat's twin hulls give it amazing speed and stability. It can do a 180 in a snap. Yeah, this thing's very maneuverable. All right, man, you just basically turn about yourself here. Better yet, it can skid to a stop. All right, how do I do a crash stop? Okay, here we go. Yeah, all right. That's cool. <laughs> That's seriously hitting the brakes and letting them fly right by. Harbor Patrol took their newest boat out for training for the first time yesterday. The new twin jet propulsion catamaran is different from the rest of the Harbor Patrol boats. Until now, all the boats in use by Harbor Patrol have been propelled through the water with typical prop propellers. The new catamaran doesn't have any propellers. Instead, it is powered by two jets that push the boat through the water. The new propulsion system allows the catamaran to make maneuvers that were impossible with the propeller-driven boats. It's a really awesome boat. It handles very well. Um, it's got a lot of things different than the HPU boats uh, as far as parking it, which makes it, makes it easier once, once we get used to it. So it, it really doesn't have a reverse like our HPU boats. Um, we have to drop buckets down to get the water to kick back forward, and uh, it, it stops the boat a lot quicker and it, it, it enables us to hold the boat in one place. The catamaran can push itself straight out from the pier, turn with nearly no turning radius, and go from full throttle to stopped in less than two boat lengths. 
The new catamaran also has a different look from the rest of the Harbor Patrol boats. Intercepting boats to get close to the units we're escorting, we'll be able to get to them quicker because we can maneuver better. That's a little bit faster. And also it looks, it looks a little more aggressive, so uh, the boats that are approaching, the units we're protecting aren't going to want to get as close and see what's going on because this boat's a lot bigger and it's a lot quicker. The catamaran will act as an escort for ships entering and leaving La Maddalena. Reporting from La Maddalena, Italy, I'm Navy journalist J.T. Bolstridge, AFN News. Looks like a pretty stout boat. That's right, we're showing you one of the nine rescue boats that are in the water right now, 400 yards south of the Santa Monica Pier, about 150 yards from the shoreline. At about 9.55 this morning, a uh, distress call was received by Santa Monica Airport in that an aircraft was coming in and they were unable to make it to the airport. It crash landed in the water here, about 19 feet of water. Authorities believe that some three people were on board that uh, aircraft when it crashed. We've got some tape that we're going to show you just that we shot just a short time ago. Apparently, uh, the authorities have recovered two bodies. That's two bodies from this aircraft. That's tape that we're showing you right when we got overhead. They're still looking for the third victim. And we don't have any word on the, uh, on the identity of the victims. The uh, number of people that are uh, involved in this operation is huge. We've got uh, authorities from... L.A. County Sheriff's Department, L.A. County Fire Department, the uh, Coast Guard, and lifeguards on scene. Likewise, we have the L.A. City Fire Department on the beach right now. So, again, three people possibly lost their lives in a plane crash that occurred at 9.55 this morning just offshore from Santa Monica Airport. Two victims have been recovered, both deceased. The third is still outstanding, and the search is continuing. This is Derek Bell, the controls of News Chopper 2. Back to you in the studio. This week, a moose was spotted in New York Harbor, sort of. This moose has no antlers, and it isn't paired up with a flying squirrel. It's a boat that could make this busy tourist destination a safer place. Jamie Colby is joining us now from the choppy waters of the New York Harbor. Hi, Jamie. Frederica, this high-speed, high-tech vessel is the newest member of the U.S. Park Police counterterrorism fleet. This weekend, it's keeping an eye on national monuments like Lady Liberty and Ellis Island behind me. And right now, Officer Pete Culver is here to tell us what makes the moose so special. What does make it so special? Well, Jamie, this uh, vessel is really special because of its maneuverability capabilities. We're powered by twin turbo diesels Cummings, 370 horsepower apiece, which are linked to 292 Hamilton jet drives, which make this vessel maneuver like a giant jet ski. We so it's, it's water propelled, it doesn't have a, a propeller, essentially, like you said, a jet ski. Exactly, it's water propelled, it has no conventional propeller like a conventional boat. And we're working on a, a catamaran style hull which gives us a nice stable platform. And Frederica, the reason that that's important is on search and recovery missions, they can get with the moose into areas that other boats can't. It can go in as little as one foot of water, and it also has maneuverability that lets it move from side to side, and the catamaran base keeps it pretty steady even if the water's rough. Absolutely. This, this, this vessel has the capability of almost walking sideways, which you could never obtain with a, a single propeller or even a double propeller. We just took delivery on this vessel this week, and uh, we feel that this is uh, going to be the forefront of uh, future vessels that we're going to obtain. A nice catamaran, jet-driven boat that we think is going to be very durable. And we do have the capability of getting into a foot of water and operating this vessel with the jet drives. We wouldn't be able to do it with a propeller. And uh, we can beach this vessel and still the jet drives can be reversed and we can be off and running. And so we are, Frederica. 